<sighs> Hello, my name is Faith New, and I'm an Aspie Gamer. Gonna be doing some more uniques farming. Before I forget, I need to go to my channel and set up a lurk for myself. Oh, it's already muted, so that's good. <sighs> I honestly wasn't going to stream tonight. Like, I didn't feel up to it earlier in the day. Oh, bugger. <laughs> but... Honestly, I, I'm starting to lose my mind a bit. Alright, let's just go to you. Ah, that's where I was. Now I remember. Now I gotta go find, uh, the hermit. Ah, right. I can't go to directly to the rust yards yet. Is my music on? It is. Good. Oh, I better switch to... Wait, what am I doing over here? I'm thinking of the Pimpernel, which is the ultimate uh, goal of this. But I can't go up to the Washburn Refinery yet, so... You know. Or can I? I wonder. Now well, that's something to test another time. Either way, though, I need to switch my gear out a bit. Let's see. Um, I have my Heartbreaker. Fire Liuda. What the hell? Invisible wall? I haven't played on Zero in a few days.
Actually, with how up close and personal these guys are gonna get, maybe the Slagga would be best. Are you? Ah. One downside of the antagonist I've found so far visual pollution. That's what that explosion was that hit me earlier. Huh. That was mildly annoying. sell. Not quite at max money, so might as well sell these. This has just been sitting there. <laughs> Wait, what? OP lo OP5. Good, good. Oh, I never sold my level 69 Trespasser. Well, I have now. So the only reason I'm holding on to these is if, is if I get some OP5 fastballs. The hell? Oh, I see. That was weird. more skips? Hmm? Alright, alright, I see ya. That was actually pretty close. I played a little bit sloppily there. Oh! I don't remember their... There. Dead now. On the bright side, I should be at the point of weighted drops. I'm already at max uh, sniper ammo again. How hilarious. 
Let's try this again, shall we? He wrecked my shield and most of my health in a second there. I wonder what the hell he was using there. Huh. Well, whatever. He was a creep. Yeah, we know. Oh, if Herbert asks about me, don't say anything. Didn't plan to. Except maybe to tell him that he that you hate him. But that'll be after we get what we want from him. I think I found a new way to deal with those guys. How many shots do I have to hit you with to fucking slag you? Wow. Stubborn, aren't you? buddy. <laughs> Got an itch on your neck, huh? Aww. I just saw a powder monkey. Where? Where the hell? Oh, I see. you oh my god come on hey buddy <laughs> sleepy oh that sucks That prick's dead, at least. Now I disappear. You know what? Go after that. Go ahead. Eat a dick. God, those guys. Those guys annoy me. I 
Come here, asshole. There. It's the teleporting ones that really annoy me. Like, Anchorman, yeah, they're super annoying, but... At least I can... At least I don't have to worry about when and where they're gonna come out and start and uh like catch me off guard. You know what? Go ahead. Go for that, please. Thank you. It's annoyingly hard to hit their heads when they keep knocking me. Ah, it's a fucking stick though. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I have two viewers right now. Oh, nice. That's kind of cool. Oh uh, yeah, I honestly wasn't considering, I wasn't planning to stream because, well I won't get into it because some of it's not my business to tell, but, I don't know, I was a dick to someone yesterday and I, I don't know. When I fuck up, I tend to go a little too hard, I guess, on myself. But even so. Viewer's already gone. Mm. Oh well. They're gone. Everybody.
you know, while I think about it, I might as well set up a lurk for a, another streamer or two. Oh, hey, Mogo. That, you sent that how long ago? Oh, just now. Okay. How you doing? Uh, doing all right. I, uh, honestly, almost didn't stream today. I haven't streamed in a while, frankly. But. I don't know. Okay, I need to. Doing okay, went to the dock from my wrist, and now I'm at work. And that's good to hear. Okay, that's. Not good. Um, would you do me a favor, buddy, and stay still? There we go. Mm. Okay. A little rusty at playing zero at the moment. <laughs> okay. But, um, how's work going for you? And the burn healing, uh, nicely? You know, for a burn, that is. There's another weapons chest around here somewhere. I got that one. Uh, oh, right. It's this little ledge right here. If I can make it up there. Ugh. It isn't obvious, I'm not that good at platforming. Wait, uh, it's going okay, been pretty busy. Everyone's saying it's too hot and not wanting to cook, so they are coming to us. Burn is healing nice, one more follow-up in two weeks, but should be fine if I keep up the way I've been taking care of it. Well, that's good to hear. I mean, I'm sure it sounds like it, like you might be getting a little more work than usual, but 
I mean, at least that means, well, I was about to say more revenue, but then I just re re remembered that, uh, depending on where you work, you wouldn't be getting extra, any extra money. Which is dumb. Like, if you're working for a company, and that comp- Like, even if you're just a cook in a multinational corporation, shouldn't you be getting a little bit of an extra cut of the extra revenue during those times? I don't know, maybe that's just my greed talking. Bosses haven't understood that heat equals no help for this burn. Oof. So they're kind of dicks about it. Lovely. Ugh. Well, are they at least being somewhat reasonable, or...? some good stuff in this chest before. Well, that'll sell for a decent amount. Alright, let's see. Drop that, and that. I think the general manager is starting to understand after I explain what happened. Oh, that's good. If he didn't, I'd be concerned. The good managers are the ones who are actually considerate of, you know, what their workers are going through. Sadly, that isn't that common. Okay, you've got a shotgun, so you need to die now. Did I not get the guy with a shotgun? I did not. Not common, especially here. Yeah. Oof. So... What was I gonna ask? I don't know. My brain is not working all that well today. I'll bitch slap you, he says. Meanwhile, I bitch slap him with a sword. Feel you there. Yeah. Yeah. But, um... I guess the question is, what company is it? Uh... I Oh, yay, Herbert. Huh? Well, you don't have to answer that if it's too uh, personal. What company you're, it is that you're talking about. Oh, good lord, this guy. Yeah. Yeah, this guy creeps me the fuck out. As soon as I meet him. Herbert be creepy as hell. Yes, yes he does. Yes he is. Um, no, those are terrible. Um, huh? 
You know, I kind of want to use this. I have it, so I might as well. Slagger. I'll be fighting some spider ants up here, I'm pretty sure. actually hit them before and I can actually pull the trigger before they move. Gwen's head works great on them. But I'm not used to using it, to be honest. People kind of sleep on this gun on zero. Okay, wait a second. I just noticed something. Why? Oh, the Gwen's head? Yeah, it's the... It's a gun you can get in the dust. Um, when you open... You'll find it in any... In one of, I think, five or six random boxes in the dust. When you open the box, you hear Jack saying, Oh, what's in the box? And, uh, it's a reference to the movie Seven. You find this in a box with a severed skeletal head. It's lovely. But what's awesome about it is... Unlike other... Doll pistols, it shoots in a burst of... Okay, 26 to 14, I think. It'll... Oh, 24 to 14, so a burst of 10. Interesting weapon. Dude, can you stop fucking moving as soon as I aim at you? It's annoying. Oh my god. Sorry, it just gets a little annoying. <laughs> There we go. That was annoying. But yeah, it's a reference to, um... The end of the movie 7, Brad Pitt finds his wife, uh... Well, the character Brad Pitt played... Found his wife's head in a box. Who was played by Gwyneth Paltrow. So they called it the Gwen's Head. But anyway, the effects of the gun are, I think it, well, it has an increased burst. Yeah, he's creepy. But the effects are that increased burst. I believe it's a, normally like two or four round burst, depending on the rarity of the doll pistol. But it also has increased crit. Not just additive uh, damn it, crit bonus, but multiplicative. How is Scarlet? Is she a... Yeah, I don't want to hear the rest of that sentence. Yeah, my mic's working. Okay. Yep. 
can't unhear this as a fairy tale voice. Yeah, I get that. Every time I hear, uh, every time I hear the voice, voice at the, uh, you know those turrets that stop you from going off the map in this game? If When you go near them, you'll notice it's played by the same voice actress as Lilith. Or at least it sounds like it. Tannis and Captain Scarlet, all the same person. Wait, really? I... N I never would have guessed that. I guess it makes sense, though. Huh. Never really looked at the voice actors for that. Booyah. You need... Wait a second. Lilith, Tannis, and Scarlet are the same. Surprise me too. Huh. That is cool. For a second I thought this was doing the burst fire even outside of scoped mode. But no, it's just because of Two Fang I was and I'm pressing as fast as I can. It's kind of like it's doing the burst fire. You can probably hear my my uh, dog uh, scratching his neck. My pug sleeping on my bed. <laughs> but yeah. All right. Maybe that's why it was a 10 round burst when I scoped in. Yeah. Yes, I have a pug. <laughs> he's about 10 now. So. But he's still adorable. Still the sweetest dog I've ever met. Mogo loves bugs. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. They are sweethearts. Yeah. Yeah, but, um... I've had him since, uh, since I, uh, was 16. I've, no, 17, now I think about it. Because I got hit by that, because I got in that accident when I was 16 that summer. The one that, uh, disabled me. And my parents got me, uh, my dog for, uh, Christmas that year, and I turned 17 at, in November that year. So he's been with me for 10 years. But, uh, you can actually, uh, find his, um, let's, 
can find a picture of him on my uh, Twitch profile picture. I should probably put, um... Okay. Yep. Time to go for the heartbreaker. Okay, okay, okay. Dude, d let me... Let me... Oh, you fucking douche. There we go. Pugs and corgis are adorable. Yeah. They are. Oh, god damn it. I put Kunai on the wrong enemy. Every time I think of Corgis, I think of uh, Ayn from uh, from Cowboy Bebop. You seen that one, Mogo? All right, that that didn't work out well. Seen a couple episodes. Need to watch more. When I think of Corgis, I think of Ruby. Oh, I still haven't watched Ruby at all. I think I just kind of. I guess there's a little bit of hipster in me because, like, I haven't watched it purely because of the craze kind of annoying me, you know? I'll probably watch it once the craze has died down a bit. Hey, Lurkin. Oh, thank you, Fervid. I appreciate that. Alright, now that those asshole anchormen are gone, let's go get the uh, Echo over here. But yeah, I can see why some people don't uh, ever finish Cowboy Bebop, since there's most of it doesn't seem to really have a main plot, but except for a few episodes that are stringed together, you know? The main plot is... Oh, uh, God. Jesus, Herbert. Ugh. To be honest, not going to be watching it as much because the voice of one of my favorite characters is changing. Due to allegations that I hate her there. Eh. Well, you're not going to like my opinion on that, probably. So I'll just uh, leave it at that. I know who you're talking about, though. Probably not, and I cry. No. Oof. Sorry.
Well, I'll clarify this much. So I don't give the wrong impression. Because I'm not sure which... Because I might be misinterpreting your position based on your comment. I'm generally on the side of at least listening listening to the accusers enough to investigate. Let's say that. Leave it at that, because that's a contentious, contentious subject. Oh, can you get off me, please? <sighs> Come on. Come on. Alright, fair enough. I'll leave it alone. Something hit me with a bomb. Getting fucking wrecked. Alright, at least I took out the super badass. Or at least I thought I did. lighter subjects. How has the uh, gauge run been going?
Glenn's head didn't work out too well for me. But mostly because of those anchor men, so I think it should... Really? No, not that. The freaking... Gage run is going good. Done with all DLC, except fight for Sanctuary. Alright, that's good. And, uh, was it you who said, uh, that that was the main reason you got back into the game? Was to, uh, get to that DLC? I've watched a lot of streamers lately. Oh, Borderlands streamers, so I don't quite remember. Have you been brief? Uh, brave? Uh, I've been, been doing, uh, doing good. For the most part. Past couple days have been terrible. But, you know. Just been... Just been doing it for the BL3 hype. Okay. Past a couple days have been terrible, but, uh, yeah. Over, for the most part, it's been going good. Sorry, I haven't been checking in. I'm sorry to hear it. No, no worries. Life gets in the way, you know? And, yeah. Well, we all, all got our bad days. You know? But, yeah, doing it for getting back into BL2 because of BL3 is a good reason. Alright, gotta go back to work, leaving a lurk friend. Oh, thank you. Have fun at work. Have as much fun as you can, anyway. Baron, I did uh, finally make affiliates, by the way, so that was good. That part was at least nice. Okay. Friggin' slider answer, a pain in the ass. Oh, and this delay? Pure engine parts. Yeah. I need some better parts. Preferably more Malawan. But, you know. I have to find donors for that, so. We'll see how that how likely that is to happen, huh? You know, the depot might actually work better on those like on those guys up there. Oh. 
Worked better on the spider ants too. Dude, come on. There we go. Okay, it's official. I need to use the depot more often. Actually, it felt better to use that than usual. I think it's because of velocity here. I hate how slow the pellets for the deep up normally are. How slow moving they tend to be. Velocity, though, that it, it'll actually hit what I'm aiming at more often. Once you deliver those with the last piece of the compass, Scarlet will have to take me back. The last compass piece is in that chest. A little bit more than a whoops, uh, Herbert. Blue Singularity. Yeah, not bad. Well, the fuse was terrible, but, you know. Spy, spy. Long shot, true shot. Yeah, those suck. The turrets haven't respawned, at least there's that. Wait, did I? Oh, I forgot to switch my phone. That explains some things in terms of damage.
Did I just get... <clears throat> okay, then. I got slagged by my own antagonist, I think, for a second. Okay, then. But whatever. It's just one of those, wait, what? Moments. Someone messaged me? Okay, messenger, if you could, like, not be a dick, that would be great. <sighs> My messenger app does this thing where the messages won't even try to send. You'll get that just circle that isn't filled out for hours on end until you go into settings and force stop the app to reopen it. It's it's annoying. Herbert, please shut up. Herbert, why are you so fucking creepy? Herbert, why do you have to be so creepy? Ugh. God damn it. Oh. Someone hit me hard just now. Oh, that's why nothing was happening. For once, my evasive maneuvers worked.
Get some health regen. Let's equip that. And that. And Kuroto Bone. There. Never die, huh? You keep telling yourself that, Herbert. Alright, did I equip my... Yes, I did. Since when do you come out of there? Fucking wrecked. Actually, I almost got wrecked, so I shouldn't talk big. <laughs> uh, well, I got up, so. People say the pitchfork isn't good. <laughs> sure, it isn't great for mobbing, but... Oh, that was a weird moment of lag. I'm glad that new job's coming soon, so I can finish that uh, tower I was working on.
Go after that. Go ahead. So I doubt anyone would ever regret kicking you out, Herbert. You're fucking creepy. Wait, what? That was a big message. So recently graduated to UVHM, but it's a real slog. Gear is just too mediocre. 
What would you recommend for farming up some decent gear for UVHM? DLC story reset on TVHM. Um, well, what character are you playing on exactly? That does uh, change the answer a bit. But, I mean... So get to Frostburn Cannon, get a Lisco, go from there. This Unkempt Herald from Savage Lee. Psych and Commando are both level 50s at the moment. Well, those are some of the easy answers, yes. But, um, both... Both Axton and Krieg boost grenade damage, so... In that respect, yes, the Herald will do wonders. Um, another good answer would be I guess another good answer would be um, you could get the grog from the uh, from the um, Tiny Tina DLC because it'll scale with you and you can just heal off of whatever type of damage you do with that while you're holding it, so you could just throw a grenade and heal off of the damage you do with that. Snowman DLC because giant chest, yeah, but keep in mind the fact that you will level if you do snowman a lot. Yeah, but the loot that you get in the snowman chest will increase as you level, to be fair, so that's not too that's not too big a deal really. Assault rifle with a Vlad off barrel would be nice, and a three way health or a Ravager fuse time is best. Fuse time. Oh, lowest fuse time. Oh, the. I. Uh, or. T your uh, sec next message came in as I was reading the last one. That explains it. Also, a slag grenade, probably a transfusion. Lowest fuse time is best. LMAO, get got. What? I mean, those... Those are the simplest answers. But I mean, for Krieg... There's also the Flame of the Firehawk shield, but then again, you can't really, uh... Can't really farm that, so... Well, he wanted an easy place to start, so I figured that'd help. Yeah, it would. It would. I'm just... I... What's the word? I'm going too uh, far in depth in my head, I guess. More than, than, more than is needed. Appreciate the tips. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I'm just being a little too in depth, I think. This game is very deep. Those will be the easiest those will be the easiest place to start. Places to start, but to do some research, yeah. One recommendation rec recommendation I always make is Uh well, there are a few Borderlands YouTubers I can recommend as well. Uh, let me find them on YouTube really quick. Just a sec. YouTube. Alright, come on, don't, don't do that to me. 
All right. Jolts, Killer Six, Yod Slayer, rest in peace, Admiral Baru, before he disappeared from YouTube. Oh, Jolts and K6. Yeah, Jolts is pretty good. K6 is... He's a good guy, and he's not an expert, even he will say that. Yod Slayer, he was wrong on a few things here and there, and so was Baru, but they are still good places to start. Another one would be, I think that's Dirchlands, yep, Dirchlands, and Demonite. Dirchlands is mostly a Maya expert, though. But he does have good tips for other characters as well. And Demonite is basically one of the foremost uh, Axton experts. Like, his name's all over the time trials for raid bosses. He definitely knows what he's talking about when it comes to Axton. Sounds good. All right. Ah, Hurley, you always get wrecked. If you're aggressive enough, Melee Krieg is somewhat viable. Yeah. I don't know much about Krieg, so... And I don't really know any experts for Krieg, to be honest. At least not Melee Krieg. Jolts and K6. Well, Jolts is... Especially. He hits him. Oh my god. He hits like a truck when he doesn't hit himself like a truck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's funny. <laughs> You're not wrong. Holy shit. I don't even play Krieg, but I know that skill. Don't remember the name, mind you. Almost got enough polycrite. Did I not did I I think I missed one of the polycriton samples. Whoops. Yeah, I've been leery of going melee. Ah, Silence of Voices. Thank you. The one where you hit yourself? Yeah. Hey, Herbert, you want to shut up so I can switch missions? There we go. Thank you, Herbert. Can't wait to kill him. I always kill him. Herbert's such a fucking creep. If you have a scream sickle, you can boost it to like 550% melee damage, but the 12% chance to bop yourself sucks. Sometimes it feels like way more than 12%. Sometimes it never happens at all. Yep, such is the nature of RNG, right? I don't dare try it, because I know with my luck, I just hit myself in the face over and over and over again. To the point that I just give up on playing uh, Krieg at all. At least Melee Krieg. A Hellborn build, I might try someday. That looks kind of fun. From what I've seen, it, it looks challenging. But once you get him going, he can do some wonderful things. Alright. I will leave that mission 
there for now. Because I'm going to be setting my save file to read only for that. I can't. I will say Gearless Krieg is a challenge run people do, so it is viable to do melee outside of OP levels. OP levels make it awful, though. Yeah. A fun thing, thing I want to mess with is Shotgun Krieg with a true neutral barb class mod. No? Oh, that sounds like it would be fun. I know he loves his butcher. Like a fire butcher. Because it can have like 100%, oh, plus 100% magazine size. Um, with salt the wound, shotgun damage, and elemental elation, mag size and all that. With a heartbreaker for that life ste steal, yeah. Words hard do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can agree there. All right, where is that polycriton I missed? Here it is. Great, great, great. That's enough. Come on, and I'll forge the replacement compass piece for you. Your death approaches. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely likes his heartbreaker. And a fire butcher. Oh my God. I've seen some of Dirch's videos when he was playing Krieg on the peak. Hellborn Krieg, yeah. Yeah, that's somewhat what I was doing in the 40s, minus the true neutral. Yeah, true. I don't know. I mean... For a second I thought that shelf was a loader. Elemental Krieg is great unless you burn yourself and no one is around and you burn to death. Yeah, true. I think there's a certain skill that, like, increases... Increases how much the burns do to you, I think? I, I don't know. I don't remember how he works. It's been several months since I last saw this his skill and gear guide. Searches skill and gear guide on that. Longbow slag transfusion. I could swap the parts from this over to this one. Hmm. Nah. It doesn't really matter, because I'm just using my slag transfusion for slagging in Deception. <laughs> 